It's time for the Wendy Williams Show. Today, Wendy welcomes her surprise co-host. Plus, Desperate Housewives star Vanessa Williams dish about the series finale shocker. And hip-hop star Wale performs his number one hit with Miguel. Hot topics, inside scoop, and all your favorite stars. Now, here's Wendy and her mom. And I'm so glad that you're watching. Thank you so much for being here, studio audience. It's the final day of co-host week, and here is my surprise, my mother, Shirley Williams. <laughs> and before you question it, no, I am not adopted. This, this is my mother. I get my height from my grandmother on my father's side. Daddy's in the audience as well. We'll see you a little bit later on, Daddy. Oh, there he is. Hi, All right, audience, let's give my mom the proper Wendy welcome. Hi, you doing? <laughs> We're doing terrific today. We've got a great show. Mommy, tell them all about it. The very beautiful and talented Vanessa Williams is here. <laughs> Vanessa stars in one of my favorite TV shows, Desperate Housewives, and she's also the voice of Ms. Brown, the new Eminem. She made her big debut during the Super Bowl with Eminem. Plus, we're going to find out what's going on with Vanessa's love life, Mommy. Oh. All right, Mommy, tell us who else is on the show today. Performing his number one song, Lotus Flower Bomb, Wale, and the guest oh, Good, Mommy, good. The rumors about who's joining the next season of Dancing with the Stars are out. The rumors, we've got some of the scoop on that and more. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topic. A mess. <laughs> mommy, Mommy, I'm so glad that you're here today. I knew that I could not have co-hosts without including you. Um, thank you for coming from Miami to be here. And, and I'm so glad to be here, Wendy. And Mommy, you know, all week long we've been asking our co-hosts what they would like to fill our Hot Topics table with. And my mother said Spanx and wigs. <laughs> Mommy, is there a reason? <laughs> well, when Wendy started her show three years ago, she turned my life around. I enjoy wearing wigs. Secretly. And I enjoy wearing Spanx, because Spanx <laughs> gives you that total look. Uh, but but the, funny, the funny thing is, is that my mother was an undercover sometimes wig wearer. You yes. won't always wear wigs. Yes. And an undercover, sometimes Spanx wearer. But now you're out of the closet with both. I am out of the closet. I taught her to let her freak flag fly. <laughs> and and, um, and I, like, I like your outfit, too. It's very, well, not the usual 76-year-old. I like your jewelry. Well, I see you have some you, jewelry Wendy. from I the do. jewelry line, my, too. Yes. That's from my adorned jewelry yes, line. It's adorned. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, Thank Mom. You. Thanks for supporting. Anyway, the Grammy Awards. Welcome to the weekend. The Grammy Awards are Sunday night. Are you guys going to be watching? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be watching. You know, I'm not big on watching full award shows, but the Grammys are music based. You know, I come from radio, and this year LL Cool J is hosting. <laughs> Mommy, have you ever looked at LL Cool J or Daddy and squinted and said, he looks like Tommy, my brother Tommy? I do. Sometimes I squint and I, I say, do. Tommy, he looks like my brother. He anyway, um, he reminds me of the black Mario Lopez. He's really fashioned. <laughs> this is why. LL Cool J's fashioned himself into like an everybody's guy. A black guy, a white guy. Like everybody loves him. Old people, young people. He's got kids. He's got the family. He's very PC. He's got his show on CBS. The Grammys are on CBS. He will say not one word 
word wrong. I mean, just like very Mario Lopez, right, you guys? Yeah. Which is a good thing. And he's hosting. So congratulations, LL. Um, now, you'll be watching for Adele, because everybody's watching for Adele. Yeah. I love her. Mommy, um, Adele is like... Uh, like Amy Winehouse type music, uh, you know, very daddy, you know, very, you like that kind of music because you like Jazz 88 when you come to see us in Jersey. Um, anyway, Adele is recovering from throat surgery and you'll be watching. I could watch her even on mute because she always gives such good big hair, like just, and, and a real ladylike dress, you know, while everybody else is dressed a little torty, she's always dressed very proper. Um, also, Chris Brown is going to be performing. I know. Now, here's the deal. Mommy, you know the Chris Brown Rihanna saga. They yes, were together. There was abuse, and they, you know, then now they're split up and everything. Well, this yes. is the first time at the Grammys that uh, the whole since the whole Rihanna and Chris Brown drama happened, and he's going to be performing. And I wonder if people will yay or boo. Are they still on the boo? Or are they going to give the guy a chance? Yeah. You know, um, and 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 I'm sure. And I'm sure everybody will be keeping an eye on them because word is that they, the Rihanna and Chris Brown held up Grammy rehearsals. Allegedly, they were holed up in a dressing room. There was w allegedly one other person in there. Um, but, I mean, that doesn't really mean anything. But it was like four hours they were holed up in that dressing room. And then all of a sudden, Chris Brown's current girlfriend, a random girl, pretty but random, um, she, she there, there she is. I don't know who she is. That's why I say random. You, we don't know her. Anyway, she tweeted something to the effect, if I can't have it all, I want none of it. So maybe, maybe by the end of the weekend, Chris Brown and Rihanna will be back together. All I'm saying is the Grammys are on Sunday night, okay? Yes, and Nicki Minaj is up for Best New Artist. Do you think she'll win? I think she will. Mommy, you've become modern. You read all the magazines and listen to what's happening. You like Nicki Minaj? Yes, I do. I think, <laughs> uh, yes, I think Nicki is very, very talented. I think she is very unique. And also, she's very entertaining. Yes. And you, and we all watched her do, do the Super Bowl halftime show. Yes, I and did. I thought it was good. Daddy, you enjoy Nicki I Minaj also. Yes. <laughs> Every, she, Nicki Minaj is for the whole family. <laughs> and we'll see her at the Grammys on Saturday. Good luck. Mommy, say, listen, um, if you could uh, wave a magic wand over the Grammys and have a, uh, you know, a dream guest and performer, who would you want to see there? I want to see Aretha Franklin and Della Reese. <laughs> Wow, you really threw me for a loop with that one. Yes, yes they're talented and from the old school. Yes, Mommy, the old school. So let's talk about Lindsay Lohan. Mommy, um, audience, you know, we talk about her a lot here on the... Well, hopefully she's not a mess anymore. Somebody over there said a mess. I know, I'm so tired of saying a mess. I want to say together, back to being pretty, back to acting. She's young. Remember, she's only 25 years old, and she seems like she's lived a, a lifetime already. Um, hopefully she's on the men's regarding substance abuse, but there was a recent picture of her that has me questioning her new look. Uh-huh. Now, see, that's banging for 47. <laughs> now... <laughs> Mommy, all I'm saying is that the makeup is a little harsh, right, everybody? You don't have to agree, but I'm just saying she's still beautiful, but the makeup is a little harsh, the hair is wrong for her, and she just looks... T old, exactly in the back, old. She looks even more like her mother, who happens to be like 47 years old. Her mother's very, th there's her, right? They look like twins. But, but the mom's better, Lin Lindsay, they said your mom looks better. But look, here's what I'm thinking. Mommy, maybe she's practicing to play that role of Victoria Gotti in the I Gotti think movie. that's an idea, And maybe mean. she's trying to influence Victoria Gotti, because look at what Victoria Gotti looks like. Victor there, there, oh, oh, well, maybe. In which case, good one. I don't know. I can't figure it out. So, Mommy, do you remember last year? That, now, my parents are up for the whole month of February helping us out. There's a lot going on. The launch of the jewelry line. It's fashion week. It's a whole bunch of stuff. And I do appreciate that. But do you remember what we, Thank as a you. collective unit, were doing last year this time? Dancing with the stars. Yeah. The, the announcement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Last 
last year this time the announcement was made for who was going to be dancing on Dancing with the Stars and it was a really tough secret to keep. Remember you and Daddy were at the house yes. when I got the telephone call that I was going to be doing it and we yes. did the happy dance and, yes. and, and then I got on the show and apparently I can't really dance. But it's that time of year again ladies and gentlemen. The new season of Dancing with the Stars buzz is all around. And so here's what they're saying. Uh, oh, do you remember when you and Daddy, by the way, kept that, that you wrote down the elimination in your, my, my father, my mother's a former teacher, so she does that teacher, there you are on the show. Yes. And even <laughs> after I got eliminated second, you still counted yes, down to the, I yes, did. to the winner. Yes, Mommy, a mess. <laughs> and then do you remember Heinz Ward won? Yes. And then, yeah, that was after he came off the Super Bowl, and then this past season was terrible for Heinz in football, right? The Dancing with the Star football curse. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the celebrities um, that are rumored to be part of the show. Our friend to the show, Sherry Shepard. <laughs> Good. Sherry, I didn't keep any of my costumes, so you could probably borrow mine, because, you know, we are sisters in the name of boobs. <laughs> So what do you think about that, Mommy? I think Sherry would be good. Yeah, on Dancing with the Stars. All right, Regis Philbin. There you go, an octogenarian. Well, I think, Regis, I think that Regis has had his day. I don't think that he should be on. All right, so what you're saying is this is really crazy because this is my mother, but you can see where I get some of my, uh, my ways from this. Yeah. Mommy, I was thinking the same thing. Daddy, I was going to pull you into it. You're an octogenarian as well. Yes, yes. That means a person in their 80s. <laughs> well, my dad looks good, but, but Daddy, Daddy, there will be no dancing with the stars if you say you were a star, and I agree with my mother. I think that Regis should be regal at this particular point and, and you know, reign over showbiz but certainly not do Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> it's a lot, Reg. I, I, I just don't like to see, like, Buzz Aldrin, you know, like older people do dance. I just, it's, there's something about, there's, you know what I mean? <laughs> God, I'm not alone. D Daddy, what do you think? Well, you don't get old by being stupid. You have to be wise. And he's the doing well. <laughs> uh, All right, well, <laughs> the, my, <laughs> All right, Daddy. For himself, what a cheese ball! Talking <laughs> for himself. Anyway, the word is also that Tim Tebow um, is interested in doing Dancing with the Stars. But what did we just say at the top of the Dancing with the Stars announcement? It jinxed Heinz Ward. He won the Super Bowl. He did Dancing with the Stars. He got stopped by the cops. Then he played horribly this past season. Right? So, so Tebow's interested, but he said maybe next season. So maybe he's... Although, Tebow, you got to strike while the Bible's hot. <laughs> if you're going to do it, you should maybe think about doing it now. I don't know. I like that kid, by the way, Tim I Tebow. Do. You, I, do. Do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Too. And then Dancing with the Stars. How do you guys like this for a rumor? And I hope it's true, because uh, I smell a winner all the way. Dolly Parton. She is a no-brainer to me, and um, you know, she's small, so she can be spun around. She's got a great spirit. Everybody likes her. Black, white, young, old, country, city. I smell a winner. Good luck, Dolly, if you're going to be in it. Now, Mommy, if, if you had a choice to put somebody in Dancing with the Stars, who would it be? I think I'd pick Rihanna. <laughs> I think that she would be hot. Oh. I'm dancing with the stars. That would, yes, mommy. Well, the announcement's going to be made on February 28th, so we'll find out who's there. <laughs> now, um, I love TV. My mother's not much of a TV nista, but you do watch a lot of Lifetime, you yes, and Daddy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And so, now, this past weekend, I was busy running around and I heard the TV going, and you came downstairs, I heard a pot stirring, and then you said, I gotta get back upstairs, because me and Daddy are watching Lifetime. What were you watching? Secret of Eden. Now, now, what was that all about? What attracted you to that movie? Well, I watched it for three things, oh. Wendy. <laughs> Sex. Oh. Murder. Oh. And Stamus. John I wanted to see 
see exactly what my mother and father are watching up there, what, what <laughs> attracts them to this movie, because I missed it. So I asked for a clip. We got it? Yeah. Roll it. The secrets behind closed doors are eventually exposed. Why is life so complicated? You know you got to protect me from myself. I swear to God, I never meant for this to happen. Secrets of being. Good choice, Mommy. Thank you. Thank ne you. Next time a good movie comes on like that, come down to the Mom Cave. We can watch together okay, and go through the jewelry. I'll do that. Still to come, everybody. From Desperate Housewives, Vanessa Williams is here. But up next, we've got more juicy hot topics for you. <laughs> Five sexy men, 15 women desperate for love, and one burning question. How are you dating? Starting Monday, Wendy is all new with a week-long dating event. Ladies, it's game time. Are you ready to put your love to the test? Plus, she's hot, quirky, and hilarious. Not me, Cougar Town's blonde bombshell, Dizzy Phillips. Brought to you by Puffs Plus Lotion. A nose in need deserves Puffs Plus Lotion indeed. I'm a blacksmith, and I love two things. Making skillets and filling them with liquid gold. Yes. Welcome back. My mom is here co-hosting with me. Mommy, thank you so much. Again, I can't thank you and Daddy enough. You know, um, in New Jersey, we don't have a whole big family and people helping us out at home to help, you know, make sure that our son feels, you know, um, how do you say it, swathed in safety and love when me and Kevin, my husband, are doing things. So when my parents come up from Miami, it is like the best. But since, and you've made some really good meals too, but we're both working girls today. So... Well well, thank you so much, Wendy. You know, I know I'm so impressed with the fact that you work every day and you do this wonderful show. Well. And still you have time to come home and cook dinner every night for your family. Well, not every I night. I admire you. Three times a week. But tonight... A lot of women do the same thing, so hats off to all of us who do that. But tonight, I say that because we're both working, that we just go through drive through on the way home. And just pick up... Well, who's that? Well, that sound means somebody's knocking at our door. Let's see who it is. Come in. Oh. Hello. Who might you be? Hello. Greetings, fair Wendy. How you doing? I doth be fine. <laughs> I doth be fine. I am the blacksmith. Oh. And I am oh. here to save your family's dinner from oh. that devil you may call drive through. <laughs> Nay. Thank you. Ah, but nothing on my behalf. For trust not the hands of sullen teenagers to forge a delicious family dinner. Oh. Instead, Velveeta. <laughs> You're fabulous. Is it easy to make? Indeed it is. Allow me. Bring forth you... my stove. Okay. Did you bring enough for everyone? I did. Wait a minute, Mom. Come, Belinda. Indeed. Oh, it's a donkey. Wow, just my traveling ass. This, <laughs> this, mommy, is a fantasy. Thank you so much, blacksmith. Now, mm. is this Thank easy you. to make? Indeed, Wendy. Careful, this oven is hot. Oh, yes, blacksmith. First, you brown the meat. Then, you add the water, the seasoning, and the pasta. And lastly, uh, uh huh. Uh, lastly, yes, you smite it. 
Let's smite. You smite it with the liquid gold of Velveeta like there can be no more smiting. Do you mind if we grab a fork and get a taste, Blacksmith? Please do. I mind not in the least, Wendy. Thank you. Mommy, don't trip it on your clothes. We've got more mm. show to do. If you close your eyes... <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay. If you listen... If you listen to your heart... This? Does it not whisper... Liquid gold? It's delicious. Mm. It is magnificent. Mommy, you love it? Now the question... Scrumptious. The question is, did you bring enough for everyone? <laughs> Indeed! Oh. I brought for all the audience! Oh. Thank you so much, Blacksmith! Oh. Thank My you, Blacksmith! Thank, thank you! Oh. You guys, we love it! You'll love it! Up next, the talented and beautiful Vanessa Williams is here! Special co-host, my mother Shirley. Are you having fun, Mom? I'm, I'm having fun, Wendy. Good. I love it. <laughs> all right. Our first guest, everybody, plays the very sexy Renee Perry on one of my favorite shows of all time, Desperate Housewives. And if you've watched the Super Bowl on Sunday, then you saw her debut, the hot new Eminem called Ms. Brown. Take a look. <laughs> So then I said, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm flattered that you love chocolate, but I'm here strictly in a professional. What's wrong with him? He thinks you're naked. My shell is brown. It just looks like my milk chocolate is showing. Only a fool would think I'd actually show up naked. So it's that kind of party. Hit it! I'm sexy and I know it. Look at everybody. Look at everybody. Look at everybody. I work out. Lovely and talented Vanessa Williams. <laughs> 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 really terrific. Fabulous. Oh my God. I saw your mom, I was in Miami yes. doing a Dress for Success event, and this little lady said, I'm Wendy's mom, I'm Wendy's mom! She told me. Oh. Dress for Success, that's one of the organizations I that my mother supports also. Yes. Yeah. And Vanessa, you wouldn't believe that I have supported that organization because of you. You're kidding! Oh. Yeah. Then now look, <laughs> I, I couldn't help but notice when you said, you did it, you did it, your arms are really, you look good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're looking good, Vanessa. Let's talk about that Super Bowl commercial. Um, the M&M's yeah. uh, commercial was voted one of the top five co commercials ever. The entire, mm -hmm. the entire, uh, you know, when they were doing the, um, the, uh, you know, what's your favorite Super Bowl commercial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This came in the top five. I know. This year we we're so excited. It was, it was. You know, m and is actually my favorite candy. Yes. Peanut M&M's have always been my favorite candy. Uh -huh. So um, when I got the call to, to go in and put my voice down, and then they said, you got it. But you I have was... that voice. And we've talked about that voice. Your of voice intellect. Is, it's, it's just so perfect for so many things. <laughs> perfect. Okay. Let's talk Desperate Housewives. Yes. So the, the series is about to end. Mm -hmm. Not the season, but the series. Yeah. And Gone. Eight years. Yeah. Which has been a fantastic ride. I yeah. Mean, eight years for a show is really fantastic. And you've been there for two years? Two years. As, second year. as Renee. Mm -hmm. um, I heard a character gets killed off, and we talked about this during Hot Topics, and I just assumed that it was... <laughs> what, that I'm going to tell you? The black person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, because black people always get killed off, and I figured we can get well, it inside Well, that's horror movies. Not on the way. Uh, yeah. Not on the lane. Yes. Yeah. I'm still on the lane. Line right now. Yes. We've we got about seven more uh, episodes to, to film, uh, but we don't get the... They don't give us a script, probably because they would think that we would actually <laughs> tell. tell. Them. Yeah. But we get the scripts like the night before about the shoot, and especially toward the end. We have no idea. I just hope oh. I'm alive. I so hope I stay alive. My house doesn't get blown up. I just hope I... So I'm what in. is the mood on the set? 
Well, yeah, the um, Desperate Housewives is <laughs> ending. Well, it's uh, there's no tears yet, uh -huh. um, and so, you know because we've got we shoot to the end of April, so um, uh, nothing's really happened yet. But uh, you know we've. It's like a family, even though it's only my second year and eight years for the girls. We've had uh, fantastic opportunities and experiences. I played game night at uh, Felicity's house. I've been to Terry Hatcher's house for her annual Halloween you party. You guys have made really good, uh, it seems, you know, uh, good friendships and good closeness. Yeah. I know you and Eva Longoria, you said uh, last time you were here that you kind of helped her yeah. through yeah. the emotions of the divorce of Tony Parker. Yeah, that whole knock on the trailer, what's going on, let me tell you. I mean, yeah. That's girlfriend stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you all go your separate ways, um, do you think that uh, some of those friendships will maintain? I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I, I still I'm in touch with all the Betty people, you know. Ugly Betty, yeah. Betty yeah, yeah. yeah, memorable character. Yeah, we love yeah. that. So, okay, because I know that all of you all, when you when you heard that this was the season and everybody's hustling up for new jobs, I know Mark, Mark Cherry. I was telling you has that uh, housekeeper. Four uh, four maids that are uh, dastardly <laughs> maids or yeah. Yeah, right, it's okay. it's uh, like rally, uh, like a soap opera. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. At night, Mark Cherry has his thing. Mm -hmm. You keep something going. Now, what's it going to be? Broadway, a sitcom, <laughs> yeah. a, another drama. Well, I, I've got my mom. My, the book that I wrote with my mom that's coming out in April. So oh. we'll be on the oh. on the circuit for that. Very what, nice. What's that Very about? nice. It's. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back with my mom when we we talk. Oh, but it, wonderful. It's, well, you have no idea, and it's just kind of about my life and, and my mother commenting mom. on my life because. We have very opinionated mothers. Yeah, and yes. they tell us things that we don't like. <laughs> Thank you. So it's a nice juxtaposition of how I live my life and what my mother thinks. Right. And how, you know, we go in the past and what was happening in my life mm -hmm. and what my mother's trying to protect me from. Uh -huh. So it's it's kind of deep. A lot of a lot of interesting stuff that Sounds people good. don't know. So, Sounds good. Yeah. And then, you know, back in the studio, want to make some music, want to do some theater, and hopefully be on another show. Mommy, that's one of the things that we want to ask Vanessa. Where are you going to be making any more music? Yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm in the. I'm gonna about to get in the recording studio soon. I don't know what it's gonna be. Whether it's gonna be Broadway or jazz or R&B, but it'll be something. Have they ever asked you to judge on any of the uh, dance shows? Because you would no. have to say it like you mean it. No, I've been in the uh, audience for So You Think You Could Dance, which was great. Yeah. But, Mommy, you yeah. have a question there? Uh, you have another movie coming out, a big something with Tyler Perry. Yes. And I understand it's going to be with Kim Kardashian. Yes, yes. Are you friends with Kim Kardashian? <laughs> Good morning. Do you no. like her? Are you buddy buddies? Well, we're... <laughs> we found a picture of you flying with her, right, uh, yeah. Mommy? Yes. We, we flew back together after we finished shooting. We, we did about three days on the new Tyler Perry movie called uh -huh. The Marriage Counselor. And I play kind of a Patty Stanger kind of character. Yeah. He's got oh. a millionaire matchmaking kind uh -huh. of service. And Kim uh, plays one of my uh, assistants who does makeovers. So yes. she's the one who's, you know, you come in and she'll redo you. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we had maybe one scene together and she did a great job, you yeah. know. Uh -huh. but, you, but you maintain like a little friendship off the set. Uh, I follow her on Twitter. She follows me on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, we, we had a long, nice conversation on the plane. Five-hour ride. Yeah. yeah. You can do yeah. that a lot. And that was right yeah. after that was the, right uh, in the, heat the of announcement. It. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So now, back to your arms and how terrific <laughs> you look. <laughs> well, I just have to say, because, because look at this. Well, you know, while women in our age group, you're going to be 49 right. next month, mm -hmm. there, are, there are women in our age group who, who think old, act old, and look old. Right. And then there are women in our age group who... Keep it moving. Who keep it moving. Mm -hmm. but, but there are also women in our age group who let the dredge of looking at 50 kind of take over them. And, yeah. you know, um, I wanted to ask you about Demi Moore. Mm -hmm. She's going through her they say aging issues and she's going to be 50 this year yeah. i think she looks terrific i i yeah. can't figure out why she's going crazy but oh, is it aging or is it heartbreak i mean heartbreak is I the think, hardest thing yeah. that you can go through i you think know, she has it. a lot of other issues also yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not just aging yeah yeah, what I What did you agree. read, Mommy? <laughs> what did you read? What do you know? <laughs> do you tell? <laughs> no, but they're saying, they're saying, you know, it's substance abuse, yeah. and then it's also the heartbreak after being with Ashton for six years. But, you know, you're in Hollywood as an actress. You know um, 
how sometimes you can be thrown out after maybe your 45th birthday. Yes. They yeah. leave you to the side. Mm -hmm. She hasn't had a hit movie in a month of Sundays. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but I just say for her to keep it together for the daughters. And I know you're a mother of girls. I mean, you, you know, you have your boy, but you mm -hmm. have your girls. Right. Right, right, right. And um, it, just, it just must be awful for her. Yeah, I mean, I, I also think that we are so happy to be in an age of TV where we celebrate women that are aging. I mean, thank God for Desperate Housewives, who showed four women who were, you know, over 40 right. and doing it. Right. And after that, everybody, that's like the model. So, well, I love it. Yeah, yeah. And you look terrific. You're doing it. She Up next, sad, yeah. Vanessa is a single woman. Uh -huh. We're going to ask her about her dating life, oh, life no. and we're going to play a fun uh, game with her. It's called... Um, is she hot on her first date? Something like that. <laughs> Don't miss it. Tuesday, an all-new Wendy Valentine's Day event. Romance, passion, love. Yeah, ladies. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and laughter. Rebecca Romaine and Jerry O'Connell. Is laughter the secret to their great marriage? I'm going to find out. Plus, Sunday, day two. That's daily. It's going to change your life forever. So find out more about it at PGX.com. Look for PGX products at stores near you. Hi, we're back with the multi-talented Vanessa Williams. We were talking about our kids behind the scenes, but now let's talk about the dating. The dating. <laughs> Are you? Do you? Uh, I'm seeing someone, yeah. Oh. And it's not baby face, by the way. I was watching one day. What? Yeah, what we did talk about baby face, <laughs> but I didn't think he was your type anyway. No, no, we were in the studio writing together, so when that came out, I was like, no, I've known him for years. Now, do you date younger? Like, would you date a man 15 years younger than us? 15, no. Okay. No, that's just, that's, I mean, I was actually married. My first husband was 13 years older than me, so that's... I think is probably as old a span that would work for me. Yeah. And obviously it didn't work, but I got three beautiful children out of it. But, um, you know, 13 years is too much. Yeah. Uh, right now I'm at, I'm at five, which is good. But younger He's or 43. older? He's 43. 43. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Yeah. Is he, uh, just one more question, Vanessa, and then we'll move on. <laughs> is he famous? Do we know who he is? No, he's not famous. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He knows the business, but uh, he's not famous. He's okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we thought we'd quiz you to see if you're a hot first date. Okay. So we've come up with a game called How You First Date. <laughs> okay. Mommy, you have the first question. Vanessa, when getting ready for a first date, <laughs> what's your theme song? Is it A? I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> is it B? Let's get it on. <laughs> or is it C? Say the best dance uh, for last. Uh, it's uh, not dance, it's say the best for last. <laughs> the best for last. Uh, Vanessa song. Uh, um, I would probably have to go with A. <gasps> yeah. Oh, right. You seem very confident about yourself. <laughs> okay, Mommy. I got the next question. Mm -hmm. Vanessa, mm -hmm. for your first date, a guy takes you out for dinner and bowling. Do you, A, wear a short, tight, low-back dress with six-inch heels, dinner and bowling, B, a soft sweater, curve-hugging jeans and ballet flats, or C, a flannel shirt and cargo pants? Comfort is important when bowling. I would do B, soft sweater. Yes. The nice hair. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, mommy. Okay, Vanessa. When the bill arrives at the end of the evening, <laughs> do you do you do which of the following? Okay. A, insist on paying for his meal and yours. Okay. Sit back and relax. That's B. He asks you out, so why should you pay? Mm -hmm. Or C. Split the bill. On um, the first date, it's B. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I love it! <laughs> That's the one I chose to. Okay. All right, the final question is, after a first date, Vanessa, he drops you off at your front door. Do you, A, wait for him to make the first move? If he wants a good night kiss, then he should be the one to initiate. B, grab him and kiss him. Men love a woman who takes charge. <laughs> or C, shake his hand goodbye and run inside. You never kiss on the first date. I mean, are we talking peck or are we talking kiss, kiss? Um, this implies kiss, okay. kiss, with the tongue. 
If it's a first date and he's attra I'm, I'm, I'm attracted to him, yes, I would let him be the man and make that decision. So A. A. Well, that makes you an official hot first date. Ah. Yeah. Watch Desperate Housewives Sunday nights at 9 on ABC. Vanessa Williams is here and we'll be right back. Thanks, kids. Sail in Saturday, 9 p.m. at Raymore and Flanagan. I really want you to be a part of my live studio audience. So if you're ever in the New York City area and you want free tickets, go to wendyshow.com. I'll see you soon. Wendy and Shirley. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Wendy and Shirley? So hi. this is my mom over here. Hello. Hello. And, uh, hi. My mom wants to go everywhere with me, shopping, the movies, um, just hang out with me all the time. How do I shake her without hurting her feelings? I think you just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is what I say, because, um, you know, there are a lot of, what are you, in your 20s? 23. Okay, and, and Mom, um, you still want to go out and have fun. You still have the same interest going to the mall and the movies and things like that. Yeah. I think that, um, Mom, you have to understand that your daughter doesn't want to spend all of her time with you. She loves you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, I, and I think it's important that both of you, particularly you, while you get busy with your friends in your mm -hmm. life, understand that there is no relationship more special than a mother and a daughter. Exactly. With that said, let her go to the mall and the movies 95% of the time with her friends or by herself. But you, young lady, should carve out... Sh uh, don't ask her for money, because oh. she's talking about checkbook, because you yeah. can't have it both ways. <laughs> mommy, mommy, what do you say? Wait, you have your microphone on your thing. I think have some coffee with one another. Oh, yes. Read some magazines together. That's what we do, Mommy. Do some, yes, yes. Do some special things, but you can't be all together the time. all the time. Going out of the house and going to the movies and stuff. Yeah, yeah you'll figure it out, you guys. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. We have, Mommy, we have time. I can't believe you said coffee and magazines. That's what we do at the house. And that's what you should do. Well, Mommy, if it's not for everybody. Oh, we have another customer. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy and Shirley. My name is Tara. Hi. How, How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I let her brother live with me while he was going through a divorce. Yes. Wendy, that was two years ago. Two years ago? I've never asked him for rent, but now that he's back on his feet, I want him to contribute to the bills. How do I ask him to help me pay my mortgage, and how much do I ask for? Okay, Mommy, I'll go first. Can I just say something? Just, just say it like I mean it? Yep. It's been two years. It's weirder living with your brother than it is moving back in with your parents. And as opposed to asking him for 50% of everything, which is what I'd ask him for, <laughs> why don't you ask him when he's moving out and 50% of everything until then? <laughs> mommy, oh wait, you have your microphone. I have to agree with that. I think your brother needs to have his own independence. Does he have children Let him child get support? out. <laughs> <laughs> you see where I get it. Well, thank you very much for that. Does he have children, by the way? No. No children? No. Uh, the alimony is done? It's done. Yes, I agree with my mother. Independence. Yes. Uh, good luck. Thank you so much. Hey, you, stick around. Wale and Miguel perform their number one song next. <laughs> Closed captioning for the Wendy Williams Show is brought to you by... Welcome back. Mommy, thank you so much for co-hosting with me today. It was wonderful. Daddy, thank you for being here as well. I have a gift for you, Mommy, and you can share it with Daddy if you want to. <laughs> Tickets for two to see Sister Act on Broadway, because I appreciate yeah. you being here. And afterwards, I want you to go to one of my favorite restaurants in New York, Porter House. Wonderful. And thank enjoy you. yourself. Thank, thank you. you. I want to also Let's thank go. my co-host, my studio audience, my guests today, Vanessa Williams, Wale, and Miguel. Monday on the show, it's Cougar Town, Town Star, Busy Phillips, and we're going to kick off, how you dating? Yeah, we're dating with three lucky Wendy viewers and their chance to date their dream men. Love you for watching today. Have a terrific weekend. And I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye.